Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm not going to talk about Kelly Ripa. Frankly, or, I know or, Kelly Ripa, and you're you no know Kelly, Kelly Ripa. Ripa. And honestly, I'm not going to talk about the show since her husband took over for uh, that disc jockey guy, um, Seafood or something. Oh, Ryan Seacrest, seafood. Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with that show. Um, so they're doing the show. They have for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I didn't watch it when Brian was there. I didn't watch it when uh, Waldorf was there. <laughs> Who else? None of them. Anyway, I do have a bizarre story about military intelligence being leaked, which I'll share with you. If you would like giddy humor like that, you are supposed to by now know that you have to like subscribe and follow this is truly news otherwise you may not get this you should have felt it in your heart sure like subscribe and follow this is truly news if you find a weird story and you feel in your heart we'd like it you can email it to us at titr at netradio.network wow this is true Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So, I was in a line, uh, at, a, I was in a line at a grocery store cashing out a 12-pack of drinks. All right. <clears throat> Woman walks toward me and takes her place in line. Yep. However, instead of standing behind me in line, she stood right next to me. That's sweet. Lady in front finishes... And what do you know? The lady beside me pushes past me and tries to cut me off. Honestly, in my head, I was about to just let her go because she clearly was in a much bigger rush than I. And I personally didn't mind waiting an extra two minutes. I'm, but, often, I'm often that way. But? The awesome cashier, who's cashed me out frequently, says to her, uh, I'm sorry, but she was waiting here before you. But it don't. The lady Don't. scoffs and steps aside. <laughs> I love I love a good scoff. <laughs> uh, with a huge smile on my face, I make sure to have a nice and lengthy, hey, how's your day? Thank God it's Friday. Did you do husband? anything? The kid's doing good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you do, do anything fun on Halloween? What about Bastille Day? Arbor Day was hot at our house. <laughs> Chat with the cashier. She knew, I knew, the lady knew. The whole time I felt the lady in a rush's eyes burning a hole in the back of my head. And I just loved every minute of it. Which, by the way, if she were Supergirl, you wouldn't have loved it. You wouldn't have. Oh, no, yeah. They would really have... burnt holes in the back of your yeah, head. Yeah, that would have sucked. Yeah. Then you had the Dane Bramage. <laughs> Antoine? So there have been quite a few weird leaks of military documents lately, right? Yep. Apparently, people cannot keep from posting classified data on War Thunder, the video game, on their forums. Apparently, you have to to get in or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, America had some plans for Ukraine that got leaked on Minecraft. I've been hearing something about that. Now, for those of us who are, well, Luddites, you don't actually need to be into the latest video games to leak military secrets. Oh, thank goodness, because I'm hoping, you know. Because in the UK, known for its much more traditional setting, <laughs> all it takes is a pub, a toilet, and a good old-fashioned drunk serviceman. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, can he be retired? Sometimes. <laughs> can he? Because I... Patrick could do this. Sometimes the old ways are the best. A pub goer recently discovered classified Royal Navy diagrams laying on the wet floor of the restroom. Yo, guys, you can at least hit the urinal, please. The papers detailed a critical part of a new $1.6 billion nuclear submarine, the HMS Anson. Ah. So why would it be HMS? Because aren't submarines basically considered boats, not ships? Oh, because I always thought HMS was her or his majesty's ship. Yeah. Or am I wrong? Vlad, I've been corrected before. I've I been think wrong. you're wrong. Not like Scott. I, because they call it the HMS. Because Scott's I mean, never been wrong. They've obviously done that. So you're wrong. Okay. Anybody walking wrong, by could have. Wrong, 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 wrong. Anybody walking by could have picked up and pocketed the plans. Although if they're wet and laying in a restroom floor, I'm not sure why you would. Uh, who's going <laughs> to. It could have been a simply a drunk British soccer fan or 
a malicious foreign agent. Why am I thinking spy versus spy from Mad Magazine? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Fortunately, that didn't happen. The person who discovered the paper appears to have returned them to the Royal Navy for a fee, I'm sure. Uh, and, you know, probably shots for tetanus. Maybe. Additionally, although the paper were cla- papers were classified, they weren't all that secret, according to the Royal Navy. They were part of a training manual handed out to every crew member of the new sub. Okay. Every crew member yeah. of the new sub. Now I'm here. So you. I'm guessing. All they had to do was take a survey. You got at your. At uh... some point, we're going to find a drunk sailor with a hangover who doesn't have a manual. Man. Yep. And I will not know how to start this thing. Pretty sure they'll whack him right upside the head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, try to hold it together for this headline, okay? Because i got a story to read. From a place called Conover. I don't know where this newspaper was from, other than Conover. So, Conover someplace. I so imagine it on the is East that Coast. Like, is that like where inmates have to fly over to get to a prison? No. <laughs> Shut up. That was Con Air, you maroon. Same thing. Great Northern Jerkoff celebrates 20th anniversary with 38 entries. Nope. Mm -mm. Club 45 Mm -mm. in Conover was full to the brim February 15th for the 20th anniversary of the Great Northern Jerkoff. The. (laughs) He doesn't approve, does he? Mm -mm. (laughs) The event raised $1,000 for Warm the Children. (laughs) <laughs> there were 25 participants who provided 38 jerky entries trying to win the title of the best homemade jerky in the North. <laughs> After an hour of judging, not the least of which by Martin Luther himself, he rattles. The, the winners of the 20th annual Great Northern Jerk Off were presented with their awards. <laughs> Sweetie Pie, over to you. I don't believe I'm talking to you anymore. Jean Merritt of Philadelphia, a special knack for spreading goodwill. This is She writes letters. Ah. According to a Philadelphia magazine, which probably can barely write, Merritt, Merritt solicits mailing addresses and then responds with a handwritten, in meticulous cursive, by the way, mm. a handwritten letter on captivating stationery, Ooh. Permissive to reporter Victor Ferrillo. Yeah. Fiorillo? Fiorillo? Wasn't he on Hill Street Blues? Smith. Sure. Victor Fiorillo mentioned that she has an overabundance of writing papers and postcards. He said, I've been writing letters since I was a little girl and postcards too. And just never stopped. Oh, so she enjoys oh, the, the, the apparently. exercise. Yeah, yeah. Along, well, nobody knows how to put, as Manny said on Modern Family many times. No one knows how to put pen to paper anymore. I, for one, am glad my handwriting isn't the greatest. You'll be the first gone in the apocalypse, but that's okay. Real men Along, type. A, let that settle in for a minute. Along with requested letters, she writes to people in nursing homes through letters against isolation and to people in prisons. My mother collected stationery, and I'm still using that. Wow. I found it in her house when she died in 2011. As wow. If I, if I do see stationary on clearance, I can't resist. <laughs> Sadly, she said the vast majority don't write her back, but she noted doing this is just really good for my brain. Hmm. Well, and good for your soul, too. Yeah. Good on you, lady. And for the lady, whoever gets these. I'll bet it helps. It's a day brightener, man, whether they, whether they write back or not. Yeah. Yeah. Only an old poo wouldn't have their day brightened by it. That, well, Winnie would write back. Yeah, that's also true. Because he's an old poo and he would write back. <laughs> this is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.